Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey G97 and welcome to the video. Today's episode is going to be using the F1500 TA early 90s uh, lookalike Formula 1 car using the uh, early 90s Bennington Michael Schumacher uh, paint job. Uh, the easiest way to get this car is to get all gold medals in Gone with the Wind missions events. So the first mission is you're going to be using this Audi. You'll be passing grade 3 and grade 4 cars. Uh, this next challenge here, combining the, the wet tire wear. Uh, back in the day when this showed up, this was a little bit harder mission to do, but I think it's a little bit easier right now. Um, here's all the stats on that particular mission. Uh, I guess the best car to use, as I'll show you what I got from my garage, it's probably going to be the BRZ Subaru car. Might be the best. Um, back in the day, I used the Viper for this particular mission. But I saw really how I suggest the Subaru uh, BRZ. Uh, but anyone, everyone has their own preference. Um, but I really think the BRZ might be the best choice for this particular uh, event. Next we have the this mission with the guy Ferron. Um, then you have the drag race against the Viper. Uh, the easiest car to use for this particular mission right here is I'll show once again my garage. I have all these different cars uh, but definitely the easy go-to car for this particular mission. Uh, it's going to be down here the Tomahawk. XVGT. If you ever have it, go ahead and use it. If you don't have it, it'll be under Brand Central. You click America, you click Dodge, and it's a million credits. Then you had the field knowledge with the Bugai Farron again, no, murdering uh, Norscliff. Then you have this tricky mission right here, the pass, uh, using the F15 TA on a wet, damp uh, spa racetrack. Then you had the one lap magic with the FXX Ferrari and then the last one is the drift mission with the Viper Grade 4 uh, at Daytona infield racetrack. I believe that's the track that is on. I might be wrong on that but I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I did that mission. Now if you guys can't get all the challenges gold there is an alternate way to get this car. Uh, you go to Brand Central then you're going to click on the Asia Pacific tab and that be under Japan and you'll click the Grand Chimismo logo that's where, it'll, where it's going to be then you click showroom and it'll be right there in the middle between the two Red Bull race cars it's worth a million credits the performance space is around 950 performance points with close to a thousand horsepower very lightweight right below 1200 pounds uh, so you can do that too if you can't do the missions and here's all the different colors that the car has to offer let's quickly show you guys now the setup that I'll be using for this race I got this in slow motion racing hards uh, both power restrictor and power outlet set to 70 downforce set to 700 at the front 1700 for the rear and we're using the transmission set to normal that's the setup of the car so to give you a quick look at the car, the handling is really, really good. I mean, this is like perhaps the best, smoothest handling as of yet that I have done in this particular race series. Uh, you're going to be a few map one throughout the whole race. Uh, this will be a two uh, pit stop strategy. Um, you can just see how smooth the car is as we try to pass someone right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was very pleased with how the car felt. Um, top speed is about 174 or 5, and we'll go faster once you burn extra fuel. Uh, so, your first pit stop will occur on lap 6. Uh, as you can see, there is hardly any tire wear, so the main thing you'll be doing here is filling up your fuel all the way to the max. And then your next pit stop 
will be on lap 12. And you'll be doing the same thing as we do a little chicken move on the Viper in order to get the pit. So, what you'll be doing for your last pit stop is, of course, you'll be filling up fuel. Uh, I suggest you just fill it up uh, probably 3.3, 3.2 laps. That will be just sort of past the little icon. And always to make sure and remember to check behind. Just to make sure you have enough clearance to get back on the track. And that's basically it for the race as we get this race done in about 24 minutes and 42 seconds. So it might be the slowest car yet, but the handling is supremely good. Great tire wear. Uh, we did 134.377 for our fastest lap, 24.42 total time, uh, which is the slowest yet that we have done. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this will help out in your grinds at Sardina. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.